Windows users already know that all of their Windows files are stored usually in the C drive. But if it fills up with space, how do you extend it? My name is Sidullah, you're watching Canada Technology and in this video we're talking about how you can extend your C drive in Windows 11. Now, uh, the first thing we need to do is to open up uh, drive management or uh, create and format hard disk partition. So this is the setting that we'll be working with. What this does is that it opens up the disk management prompt. You can also open it by right clicking the start menu and then clicking on disk management. Once we're here, uh, you can see all of the different spaces that are allocated to different drives. Uh, as you can see, uh, partition 1 and partition uh, 4 are my recovery partitions and they're already 100% use. The system uses them if we're not going to touch them. What you can see here is that my C drive is 67% free and my D drive is 9% free. Now, in order to create or extend the C drive, we need empty unallocated space. How do we do that? Well, uh, you can shrink any of the drives to the right of your Windows partition. So, for example, if I want to extend this partition, you can see that this has an allocated space to the right. So, I can just go ahead and click on extend volume and uh, the extend volume wizard will open up and I can select whatever free space I have on my drive, which as you can see, 703 MB and that can go there. So, uh, how do we get free space here? Um, the first thing we need to do is shrink a volume. So we can, let's say, shrink the D volume. And I have uh, about 6 GB of space that I can free up from this. Size of available shrink space is essentially uh, 6.5 GB. Uh, it'll show you this in MBs. So you can go ahead and click on shrink. We're going to wait for a few seconds. And here we go. So now there is a 7 GB uh, unallocated drive space on my uh, Windows drive or like on my basic hard disk. And now I want to extend this, uh, add this space to the Windows drive itself. Now, if I right click, uh, as you can see, the extend volume space uh, or the extend volume option is grayed out. Why? Because uh, if you're using the default disk management tool in Windows, uh, this space needs to be uh, to the right, immediate right of whatever partition you're editing. So if I want to extend my library partition, I can go ahead and extend it. But if I want to extend the Windows partition, that option is not available. So what do you do in this case? Uh, you have two options. Number one is that you can uh, move your data uh, because in most cases your C drive and D drive will be right next to each other but in my case there is a recovery partition in between and I don't want to delete my recovery partition. In most cases your D drive will be right next to your C drive so you can copy all of your unallocated uh, or copy all of your data to a new drive, delete the D drive and then merge the two together. So for example I can create a new simple volume out of this unallocated space move over all of the data here and then delete this uh, to merge it with windows of course if i didn't have this unhealthy partition in between but as you can see i can't move these around and uh, i can't really delete or shouldn't really delete the recovery partition because if something goes wrong windows uh, will be easier to recover in this case for uh, such things you are going to need a third party tool if you're stuck in a situation like this now i use mini tool partition wizard the free version will do but you can use macrium reflect you can use uh, a bunch of other softwares that are all available for free so i'm just going to fire up mini tool partition wizard now close all of their 500 ads and uh, now here we are in the system tool now as you can see uh, it shows this exactly the way we were seeing in the windows disk management tool this uh, seemingly works the same way as well, except uh, you don't no longer have to worry about sort of uh, where each individual chunk of uh, storage is placed. So if I want to extend my C drive, I can just select C drive, right click and then click on uh, extend. Now, uh, here we go. So it will ask you where do you want to take free space from? And in this menu, I can just select the unallocated space, then uh, how much unallocated space I want everything then I can select OK and uh, that's it now all I have to do is go ahead and click on apply 
uh this will take a few minutes to run and basically that's it now of course different tools will have uh, different ways you can do this so macrium reflect will have slightly different uh, steps for how exactly to uh, extend this but as you can see all of the pending changes have been applied and your c drive is now extended so now if i close this uh, yes quit the program go back to disk management you can see that uh, now my windows c drive is bigger and the unallocated space is gone and that's it that's how you can extend your c drive in windows 11. if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you if you would like to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you in the next video